All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, Cobb Flex Fuel Kit. Um, for most of you guys that have been following me on this channel, um, you know I went and upgraded the um, fuel rail uh, to an aftermarket fuel rail. And the, I guess a Flex Fuel Kit from Cobb is meant for, I guess, a factory fuel rail. So we're gonna do have to uh, do some minor adjustments and uh, a couple of fittings are gonna be changed out uh, to make it all work. Um, with the Cobb Flex Fuel Kit, it's a Dash 6 and the AMS fuel rails are a Dash 8. So we've gotta change out a couple of the fittings uh, to make that fit. So let's uh, get started. So on my previous vlog, we went ahead and installed the uh, flex fuel pressure sensor from uh, Cobb here and uh, we had to get an adapter for a dash 8 uh, because the alpha fuel rails are a dash 8 um, so there you go guys so included in the um, AMS fuel rail kit is the uh, fuel pressure regulator here and to mount this you had to put it on where the stock fuel rail clamps are which is right here but the problem with that is Cobb goes into the same spot. So with the situation going on there, AMS applied this bracket, but this bracket is not going to fit either. So I ended up making my own bracket here. So this bracket is going to go right on to here. And I did do a couple of test fits. So when you close the hood, the snorkel for the air inlet feed, right here does clear uh, the fuel pressure regulator when you close the, uh, the hood there. So with that said, I did uh, discard the factory fuel rail clamp here. So we won't need that anymore. All I did was to keep the uh, factory clip here. What I intend to do is I'm gonna put it on the Cobb sensor bracket and we're gonna feed the uh, uh, vacuum hose through it. So you're gonna fit nicely. Then, from the factory fuel rail, Cobb act, uh, actually supplies the, I guess, uh, the fitting here. So I did, uh, I did retain that. I'm going to put the O-ring holes, and I'm going to put it right here so it fits perfectly, and then it's going to feed out. So first off, you guys, I'm going to put the feed line on to the fuel rail, and to do that, you're going to have to get one of these. It's a 90 degree with a dash eight and this dash eight will go into the AMS fuel rail after the sensor and uh, into the feed line and then the feed line into the factory uh, feed line here and it's actually bigger than the return line. So the feed line is already hooked up to the sensor here, all the way to the factory line. So up next, I'm going to install the uh, supplied cob fitting here that's for the uh, factory fuel rail. It works out that it, it goes in here. So I'm going to do that and uh, put the O-ring on. All right, guys, so there you go. So I went ahead and then I buttoned down the two factory 10 mil bolts into the factory I guess uh, fuel rail bracket and then managed to make both of them fit. Uh, so you have to fabricate your own bracket and retain the uh, cob uh, fuel rail uh, I guess fitting and it fits perfectly in there you guys. So I did check it does clear the snorkel. So so far so good you guys and I got the fuel Lines fitting pretty perfect. All right, up next. I believe I'm gonna go in ahead and install the uh, return line. So up next, I'm gonna install the, uh, the uh, I guess this is the return line, but this would normally go into the fuel regulator, but instead of into the fuel regulator, we're gonna go into the uh, flex fuel, which is right here. And with Cobb, 
it will be a dash six. So you'll need to change this fitting out to a dash eight like I did. And then it'll, it'll ma uh, match up or made up together. So you'll need to change that out if you do the cog flex fuel kit with the AMS fuel rail. So the next uh, holes that you want to uh, connect would be the feed from the flex fuel kit into the fuel pressure regulator, uh, pretty much the return line, or well, going back to the return line right now. And enable to do that a little easier, I went and got the uh, 45 degree AN fitting, and that will go into the return line here, and it's going to go feed all the way into here. And because it's gonna loop down closer to the exhaust manifold, we're gonna wrap uh, some gold heat shield on it. So we got some uh, Mishimoto gold heat shield. Amazon special. He said it's supposed to be some good stuff to you guys, so I'm not too sure. Hopefully it works uh, good. I guess better than nothing, right? That's it. Not bad for a first time. Doesn't very uh, stretch very well, but Mishimoto, uh, not bad. Now we're going to install it, you guys. Pretty tight fit, but it uh, it worked. I might this uh, I might decide to change this out. It's just um, a little bit too tight of a bend. I don't know if you guys can see it, but all the way down to the bottom and up to the top here. Uh, this hose that um, Cobb supplied is not the same as these AN hoses. These uh, flex a lot better than the crimp style so I might change that out I just uh, I don't know just not very comfortable with that setup but uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah I might just switch that out so next uh, holes to install would be the uh, return line from uh, the bottom of the uh, fuel regulator here down in the bottom up to the uh, return line of the factory holes there so the return line was pretty simple uh, it's pretty flexible so I ran it from the bottom and I looped it around to where the flex fuel kit is, or the flex fuel sensor, and into the factory hard line, or return hard line here. That was quite simple. So the last step for holes assembly is the uh, vacuum holes here. Um, that will go into the fuel lab uh, regulator. And I would recommend, well, they do recommend, I, I suggest to uh, tie strap it down too so it doesn't come off. I did do a test fit and it does come off quite easily. So uh, yeah, tie strap it down. So, uh, so far so good you guys. Everything has gone in uh, according to plan. I did do a couple of test fits. The only one that is just kind of a concern is that um, I guess the return line holes from the fuel regulator or the uh, flex fuel kit to the fuel regulator uh, that was supplied by Cobb. It just doesn't flex as nice as the other AN hoses. So I might uh, switch that out just to be on the on the safe side and peace of mind. Uh, yeah, I might do that. Um, last thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the harness for the flex fuel kit and run it through the uh, CAN bus there. So uh, let's do that, you guys. So this is the uh, harness here that goes into the flex fuel sensor and we're gonna connect it to the uh, CAN gateway there or the CAN bus. Let's do that right now. 
So what I did was I connected the flex fuel sensor and I ran it behind the uh, fuel regulator and through the rubber grommet, then around and behind the firewall. And of course we ran it up and nicely tucked it back in and it's all connected now. So everything's all in. I'm gonna button up everything, make sure you double check everything is all tightened up because uh, we're, I guess, dealing with uh, fuel. You want to make sure everything's tight and not leaking. And then last, uh, we're going to check to make sure the snorkel clears. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the GoPro in here, just like that. And then we're going to close up the uh, hood and make sure the snorkel doesn't uh, hit and everything clears. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the flex fuel kit install for the GTR. Um, do keep in mind when you guys do buy the uh, the flex fuel kit from Cobb. It is meant for the factory fuel rails, you guys. So you will uh, need some dash eight uh, AN fittings and some, I might change out the hoses too, but if you do do the aftermarket fuel rails, they won't fit. Uh, so just keep that in mind, you guys. And that's why it's taken me a little longer for my uh, install because I had to wait for a couple of AN fittings to come in to make the kit fit. And so far so good looks uh, fantastic everything clears and you do have to make that uh, bracket too you guys so don't forget that um, but uh, I'm excited uh, the weather is just fantastic right now out in Alberta and it's just quite a tease so can't wait to send the uh, text message to Adam to send me the uh, I guess a bass tune so I can get it down to him to get it properly tuned and then make some big horsepower uh, really excited for that you guys so don't forget to Hit the subscribe button, you guys. Turn on the notification and uh, enjoy the ride with me. And uh, we're going to get some big numbers on this car. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are uh, following along and enjoying the, uh, the uh, modifications I'm doing. And uh, hopefully it's helping you guys out for your guys' mods too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and button down uh, everything else and make it all nice and neat. And I'll put the manifold back on. So enjoy the weekend, you guys. And see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya! Like, oh,